Torgal, the one who never ceases to amaze me. Clyde's faithful friend who was fiercely protected of him and his allies. When Jill came close to death in the court courtyard of Rosalith Castle, something awoke within him, transforming Torgal into something akin to a Akon. He's crazy. Men of the Rock. Who cares? Who cares about that little bastard? Who do we have near? Chieftain of the Northern Territories and Geo Warwick's father. After his homeland raids into the Rosalia, our, our were finally quelled for the duchy. His daughter was taken to as a ward of the uh, Rosefield family to ensure that he would never raise arms against him again. Desolent place. Situated in the heart of the Dugo uh, capital, Rosalia. This tower and ivory fortress has been under Semprecois uh, command since 8060. 860. Although little remains for them to command since, command since much of the capital was destroyed in the siege set by Hugo Kupuka and his private guard. Those damn dirty bastards. Who do we have? Who do we have? <sighs> Corals. Sleek body creatures with coats of silk and fur. Corals are anything but soft and will attack their prey viciously. Nice. The rumors place them as far north as the Dragon's Area in San Door to the shelves shall ever be open. Hey, Gav. Holmes is going to look into what happened to Toggle for us. You make sure he's not hurting himself doing, well, whatever the fuck it is he did. <laughs> Noise. Holmes says he's looking for books about Noise. What you got to sing about? Ivan's newest dish is a masterpiece. Once you get over the urge to gag, that is. Boy soldiers with their ruby stain. Stick steeds fed to the fire. Dude, that, that got dark. That got she dark. White as a sheet when they brought her back. I dread to think what happened in Rosalith. I didn't think Jill could look any worse for wear than when she came back from Arnon. But she's managed it. Look after her, won't you? Aye, aye. The you got it. Up to their old tricks again. Drawing on the deck in this time. <laughs> Shirley's got her work cut out keeping them in line. Most there. Yeah. No thanks to you two babbling little girls. Not all of the nobles made it out alive. Kupka and his men had their fun with more than a few. None of the Empress's favourites, though. They all got away safe and sound. Safe and sound, you don't say. Ah, my favorite pupil. Thank what you. is it that you wish to learn? Of course. One must understand one's place in the world. Maybe. Allow me to explain. Again. Ooh. Did we do this one? 
I don't remember, but we shall do it anyway. Let us begin with the story of Hugo Kupka, or the permanent economic advisor to the Dalmekian government, to give him his formal title. In a republic founded on commerce, there could hardly be a more influential position. It has granted him both extraordinary wealth and extraordinary power. Not that he ever wanted for the latter. Being Titan's dominant, he is also Dalmechia's last line of defense, a fact he has used to his considerable advantage. Why, he was even able to pry Drake's fang, one of the pillars of the Republic, from Parliament's grip. And he was quick to buy the loyalty of the fang's protectors. Today they are his faithful creatures, a private army in all but name. The self-same army that marches upon Rosarian soil as we speak. His favorite creatures. By which I mean imperial soil. More like Not pets. that you need reminding of the fact. Suffice it to say, the Empire's attentions are elsewhere at present. Deadlocked as it is with Dalmechia over its occupation of the Crystalline Dominion. Where its legions are now gathered. Scarcely a handful of garrisons remain to secure its western provinces, and half of them left after the fall of Drake's breath. With the threat of the Ironblood thus diminished, they had little cause to fear a maritime invasion. And so today, only a token force guards the former duchy's shores, as Kupka was quick to descry. He landed his troops on the Rosarian coast without encountering so much as a single ship. All for you. Clive. He wants your head. And so he and his men advance upon Rosalith, not to capture the province, but to draw you out. Ooh, draw me out. The state of the realm is ever changing, Clive. But of course. <laughs> you don't say. Who do we have here? Mati Mur Murder. Rumor is spreading throughout the southern reaches of Rosaria a pool of Apocent? Opocent ooze that has been sighted in the mo moors and meadows of the region. While it resembles not but a, pu a puddle of strange sludge from a distance, any man or beast that draws too close is met with masses of slimy hands that drag their prey into a gappy, grimming maw. Is this what we want for our children? Hawks cried cliff. Hawks cried cliff. Hmm, it's right there. Let's go there real quick. Let's find this slimy little bastard. Wherever the hell you might be. It can't be too far. Could be somewhere though. Doggy. No holding back. What is down here? Oh, this. This damn thing. No, thank you.
I shall scour the lands for this damn vile creature. Straight home now. Ooh, there he is. Oh my god, a flan plant! You slimy son of a bitch! Whoa, 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 whoa! Oh, oh, got him. Mass. Oh, nice. Tis what they need. I stood now. Whatever it was. You damn nasty little gelatinous mass. Jill looked white as a sheet when they brought her. Isn't he one more Life. thing? What is it? I'm saying for you, India. Need scarlet type. Where do I get Scarlet tied at? Hmm. Let's look it up. Let's a look it up.
is Xavier. Okay, where is that Mickey at? Xavier at? Well, that doesn't help at all.
Unnamed Chapel. I guess we can't go to it yet. I guess not then. Oh well. The little ones have been up to their old tricks again. Hope I didn't pass it up. Not all of the nobles made it out alive. Welcome to the Patron's Whisper. Come to claim your just desserts. Oh, almost. Lyrics Medallion. All done? All done. Otto, is now a good time? <clears throat> it's not a bad one. How's Jill doing? Oh, she's been better. Ty is making sure she gets the rest she needs. Good. Any word on Kupka's movements? Vivian's doing what she can to try and track him, but she's feeding on scraps. We've sent owls out to the Curse Breakers and our other friends in the West, asking them to keep their eyes peeled for anything unusual. No leads yet. But it's only a matter of time. All right. Let me know when you find something. There he is. All right, Clive. Still busy saving the world. Who's this? And you got long hair. Wait. When did you get back? Mm, just now. What about your studies? Adjourned. Since Hugo Kupka invaded Rosaria. All the canvas in uproar about it. He's gone mad. He's turned rogue. It'll be us next. You try concentrate. Be all, all right, all right. You win. How long will you be staying this time? Dunno. A while, most likely. Any road, while I'm here, I was hoping you could do us a favor. Mid. You can't just expect me to. Please oblige her. <sighs> while we are busy tracking down Kupka, you should have a little time to spare. Now there's a face I haven't seen in a while. <laughs> Should you have it buried in a dusty old tome? <laughs> <laughs> Wise guy. I did, till a familiar trill pricked my ears. As ever, your exuberance is a breath of fresh air. My nose itches. Which successfully scattered the painstakingly assembled fragments of my thoughts. I'll take that as a compliment. Well, Clive, you heard the professor. So, I'll meet you in the story and when you're done. Wait, hold on. Breath of fresh air. Bloody tempest, more like. Oi, Otto, you got my gill. No. Huh? What are you all about? My fee for bringing Mid across. She said you were paying. <laughs> that little... The storeroom, was it? I wonder what Mid's plotting. That's funny. Got anything else for me? Come on. Some rest hey man, mind your business. You took your time. I'm a busy man, mate. 
I'll get to the point then. I want to turn the room down there into a workshop like the one I had at Dad's place. Miss, you've only just come back. And? I've been thinking about it for a while. Dad said I had a knack for engineering. Told me everything he knew about it. Then sent me off to Canva to learn everything he didn't. That was his dream for me. That one day I'd put my studies to use for the good of the cause. Mm. But I'm helping no one stuck at school. I've studied enough. It's time I put me knack to work. I know that I can help the people here. And I want to do it. Well, well, well. Let's do it. It's sick to see you now. All right. I'll tell Otto you'll be staying. <laughs> I knew you'd say yes. Which is why I wrote up a list of jobs for you. Yeah. For me. Oh, great. Who else? <sighs> what do you want me to do? First things first, I need equipment and materials to start making my own. Jeez. There's the design to the stuff I need and the stuff it needs smithing from. The other materials I can work myself. Just need a generous benefactor to lay them on for me. Apart from the wood, I'll need a carpenter for that, but I can just borrow yours. Is that everything? For now. I'll let you know if I need out else. Right. Where to start? Materials and tools. That means Karen and Blackthorn. Basically, I need a smith, a merchant, and someone who can work wood. And let's face it, my student allowance ain't gonna stretch that far. So do us a favor, will ya? Yeah, 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 yeah. God. Women. Always needing you to do something. Blackthorn may be the manliest of men, but he does lack a certain... Hold him up, girl. Keep that to yourself. I heard. Mid's building a workshop down in the stalls, is she? Suppose space is the one thing we do have down there. If she wants to take it over, it's no skin off my nose. All right. Sounds like a plan and a half. The little ones have been up to their old tricks again. Is that all y'all ever She'll talk about? White as a sheet when they come to her. Was wondering where you got to. Mid's back from Canva. Have you seen her? Just now. She's planning to set up a workshop in the stores and she, ask me to buy some materials. You. She needs Here's you to do list. stuff for her. Think you can find everything on there? This lot would be much of a trader if I couldn't. <laughs> Excellent. Nice. As for payment, it's paid hundred times over by what that girl's done for us. If it weren't for her filters, we'd have naught to drink but blight water, and that would have drained the life out of us long ago. Oh. Indeed, it would. Oh. I'll send the stuff on to Mid when it comes in. Thank you, Karen. She's awesome. Is it business or pleasure? <laughs> Irrepressible. The word? That girl doesn't let anything get her down. That's for Quite certain. the opposite. In fact, she got a way of making every bugger uh, else get up and dance to her tune. My father like daughter. I'd like to say it rain and the blood. But I didn't know better. Can't wait to see what kind of queer uh, queer <laughs> contraption she comes up with next. So long as she doesn't try to rope me into building it for her. <laughs> you live mid order with me. I'll send everything on to her when I've got it. Alright. Well don't just stand there gawping. What do you have? For me. Hunter's waste salt. Oh. Weak. Weak. Uh 
That is better. Oh, no. I almost did a bad thing. Rubbing me blind, you know. You'll not find a better price than that. Is all Blackthorn, you busy? What's it look like? I have a commission for you from Mid. Hey, she requires certain tools. Everyone's favorite girl. Do you think you can make them? Bloody hell. Was she planning to build with this stuff? An airship? No. I'll see what I can do. Tell her I'll bring them over when I'm done. If I ever am. My thanks. And mids, no doubt. That just leaves the carpenter. Let's see if Bardolph's available. What do you need? Let's talk about mid. Summer storm, that one. Rolls in when you least expect it, soaking you, soaking you to the skin and leaving you ringing with breeches. <laughs> it's like her old man. Keeps us on our toes, though. <laughs> What's that for, you, dear? Oh, oh, God. It last you a good while. sword looks whoa that sword looks so much cooler oh yeah sword holy shit that's badass that's a badass looking sword look at that sword bro broski that damn lever like a boss do with a good oil in this could should be enough to keep carpenter I'll do master I need your services mid's looking to build a workshop in the storeroom and she needs the aid of a skilled carpenter so naturally I thought of you well, I'd love to help the young miss however I can. That sword is but awesome. But I'm afraid I got my hands full just keeping this place afloat. There's holes need patching, and if I don't patch them, will all of us sink into the mere? I'd gladly spare mid all the time I have, but the sad truth is I ain't got none. <sighs> I see. You need a sidekick. It don't have to be me, though, does it? What about that other fella? You know, the one over at Martha's Rest. Bernard, was it? 
That's right. Bernard. And he is a friend of the cause. I'll ask Martha if she can spare him. Thank you, Bardolf. <laughs> Thanks for Least nothing. That Bernard's as good a carpenter as you'll find, by all accounts. <laughs> I reckon my old master would have preferred his work to mine. But we branded can't be beaten on price, can we? <laughs> Most definitely. Let's go. Ooh. Stay sharp. We don't know when those bastards will be back. But we do know one thing. They'll be getting a proper Rosarian welcome. <laughs> nice. Martha tells me you and your friends drove the Dalmex out of Rosalith. You're a true hero, Sid. And don't you forget it. I want that parade. Now I want it now. I hear you ran to Rosalith's aid when the Republicans attacked. I'd have been running in the opposite direction, as fast as my poor legs would carry me. <laughs> That's why you're not me. Ah, Clive, what brings you to the rest? Martha! Home finds itself in need of an extra carpenter. I wondered if I might be able to borrow Bernard for a short while. I don't mind if he don't. We're all friends here, aren't we? Thank you, Martha. Do you know where I might find him? He went up to Cressida on business. No idea what, mind. Place is a ruin. As far as I know, he's still there. I'll look from there then. Don't ask me what Bernard's doing in Cressida. He'll have his reasons, though, I'm sure. Jeez. Well, hell. Beasts, this end. All their twisted talons and gruesome maws used to turn my stomach. But that was before I heard about the Black Shields. You don't say. Hey, buddy. Let's go. Shall be there in a Jiffy. Oh, mind your own business. to get cheap. Nice. 
Hey! Hi. I've the lad who saved my life. What brings you to a place like this? Oh, you, you do owe burn me. It. Martha said I might find you here. I have a proposition for you. Oh, do you know? Oh, baby. Building a workshop, you say? <laughs> well, that beats tacking boards to bridges, sure enough. And if Martha didn't mind me being gone a while, then neither do I. You just tell me where you want me. <laughs> That's the spirit. I, uh, I couldn't ask a favor, though, could I? Before we go? Of course. What the heck do you want? Oh, no, I'm not rebuilding well, that. There is Cressida. Where I grew up. Ain't much left of it now, though. Except my parents' graves. But I, I came up here hoping to visit. I even patched up the bridge to get across. Nice. Only to find the place crawling with fiends. Oh, crap. But you're a dab hand when it comes to dealing with beasts and bogles, ain't you? Any chance you could... Uh... It's the least I can do. Well, thank you kindly. And take care. You know, I saved your life. I'd be much obliged if you could rid the old place of nasties. And so would my mom and pa, I'm sure. This shouldn't take long. Let's go. Get over here! You die, you vile creature! They're not using that correctly. Oh yes. You have nothing on me. I say, stay down. Nice try. Oh. <laughs> nice. That should do it. <laughs> you made short work of that lot. Thank you, son. All in the day's work. Rest in peace once more. How long is it since the village was abandoned? Well, people started packing their things after the duchy fell. Between the blight and the Imperials, you just couldn't make ends meet. Must be nigh on a decade since the last wagon left. Damn. Oh, it may as well have been a century. Looking at the place. 
This isn't the Cressida I remember. I'm sorry. Ah, don't be. Can't live in the past, no matter how nice it might have been. Soon as I'm done saying a prayer for those that raised me, it's on to your hideaway. I'll meet you there. Hey, now. That should take care of Mid's little list. Better head back before she thinks of anything else. What the hell? No use calling Ambrosia now. Why? But I want to look around. Oh, here. Yeah. Why not here? There might be a un box that I need to open. See what I'm saying? Good old chunky chunks. up there hello oh ma ma I, i'm sorry i ain't been back to see you in so long but I, I got some news for you. <laughs> I'm to be wed. Oh. That's awesome. over here oh, it was definitely gonna be a boss fight maybe not now but definitely late definitely later Whenever it's time, we'll be ready. All right, mid. The little ones have been up to their old tricks again. Oh, nice. All right, Clive. You've all done then. I am. I've placed your various orders, and a carpenter by the name of Bernard is on his way from Martha's <laughs> Rest. That's brilliant. Thanks, Clive. Is there anything else you need? Nope. Blackthorn and Lady Karen have already sent over everything I asked for, and I've got all my plans drawn up. So as soon as Bernard gets here, we can get to work. <laughs> I can't wait. Nice. Sweet. <sighs> That's my good deed for the day done. Let's see how Jill's faring. Oh, 
whole bunch of little things opened up. Let's go check them out. Hey, uh, what's that name this about? Do you have a moment, Sid? Sure. A team of curse breakers has gone missing near Northreach. Oh. Which team? Poles. They were sent to liberate a carriage of bearers before they could be smuggled to market. They were moving in for their assault when the carriage was attacked by goblins. The curse breaker managed to release a stolas amid the confusion, but this was days ago. Oh shit! They should be back by now, you but I've just now telling me from any of them. I can't help but worry that they know the work is dangerous. But I'm sure they're fine. But what if I've got them all killed? Before they go out, I always remind them why we're doing this, what they escaped, and what we're freeing people from. But I never really thought how my words might affect them. What risks they might take because of the things I've said. I'll go and find them. We'll both rest easier knowing they're safe. Thank you, Sid. And I'm sorry to trouble you with this. Uh, it's okay. The plan was to intercept the slaver somewhere in the dragon's airy. I can't tell you much more than that, I'm afraid. That should be enough to go on. If they were there... Torgal will track them down. Nice. We're lucky that Stolas escaped the dragon's area unscathed. Without it, we would never even have known that Cole's team had been attacked. True. Let's go. Slavers don't even You know what time it is. Faster. He has to hurry. Make haste, my young companion. I've been here. Yep. Yeah, this is where all those flying little bastards were. Of Delmikia. They're like she's dead as a doorknob along with the rest of the little feeble creatures. Straight home now. Stay still, you damn fool. Unless you want to bleed to death. Cole, I'm glad you're in one piece. Just about. Sid, if you don't mind me asking, what are you doing here? Doris sent me to find you. She hasn't heard anything since the attack. She's been worried about you. I sent a runner to the dame in Now me? The hideaway should have learned of our survival yesterday. Well, I'm here now. And it looks like you freed the bearers. Only some. The rest locked themselves in the slaver's carriage rather than fleeing when they had the chance. I want to help them, Sid. But we're barely in any state to protect those few we did save. You made the right decision. Now where's the carriage? The goblins may still be out there. You Man, have to do the carriage. Yeah. See to the injured. I'll handle the rest. All right. Just follow the path to the south. You'll come across the carriage soon enough. And please, hurry. If the beastmen get to those bearers, the poor souls will be eaten alive. I won't let that happen. Damn Thank man. you. And Sid, the 
It's good to see you. Don't thank me just yet. That was literally right there. Ready, go. Like, ten steps away. They're trying to get into the carriage. No, you don't. Oh, yeah. There we go. You take that. Jumped out of that ring. Bone necklace. Ooh. Wonder if that's any good. Who are you? A friend. Are there any more survivors? Why didn't you flee with the others? If the goblins had made it through that door, you wouldn't have stood a chance. Why should we run? One miserable death's no worse than another. Ooh. Perhaps. But we're here to give you another choice. Freedom, safety, the life you've been denied. Come with us. Let us protect you. Sid, I, I couldn't just let you... Bro. No, late for it all that. too late then. Thank the gods. This man risked his life to save yours. To give you a second chance. Fine. Do with us what you will. What we'll do with you is take you to safety. After that, it's up to you. Your lives are your own now. You can leave the rest to us, Sid. We'll get everyone back to the hideaway. Thank you. I'll let Doris know we're expecting new arrivals. Nice. My team needs proper medical attention, but we'll get our new companion settled first. Now it's your team, huh? I risk your lives to free the likes of us. What could you possibly gain? It's okay. Oh no. Do this out of the kindness of me heart. Good to Stolas be back. from the dame arrived not long after you left. If I'd just waited a little longer, I might have been able to deal with things myself. Oh, God. Or maybe I wouldn't. I keep making the wrong decisions. 
Cole and the others got home safely. You made exactly the right decision. No, I was lucky. I've been tracking that slaver for months, and then I sent Cole and you after them woefully unprepared. What kind of leader sends people into danger without considering all the risks? I should have urged greater caution, told Cole to be wary, to pull back at the first sign of trouble. We swore the same oath as you, Doris. It's good to see you safe and well. Damn, Cole. Cole. You're yeah, always right around the corner, Sorry. huh? And yet, no one to be respect. found when we need you. We curse breakers don't risk our lives because you commanded of us. We risk them because we believe in our cause. No one with doubts ever joins our ranks. The agony of removing the brand more than sees to that. You'll know how much bravery that takes. Cole. I never doubted your courage. Only my ability to see it put to good use. Thank you for your faith in me. I'm not sure I deserve it. I sometimes wonder if I might prefer to risk death alongside the others than ask it of them. But I'm a curse breaker. I swore an oath too. I have a role to play and I must trust that I'm the right one to play it. Mm -hmm. Well, in time. Nice. Another level. Reduce uh, rising flame cooldown by two seconds. Now oh, that's the business. I didn't mean to doubt my comrades, but I couldn't leave them out there either. I need to trust them more, I, I see that. But that doesn't mean I need to care about them any less. So heartless. Ah, oh, I wasn't expecting you back so soon. Is everything we've received and everything promised? Dire Wolf Jess? The hell's that? How long ago I was accosted by footpads as I walked the gilded path and would have perished alone in the desert had not been the curse breakers come to my aid. I owe them my life. And this token served them well. Ooh, that seems pretty cool. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Come again. I may have more for ya. Oh, I can't wait. Oh, I can't wait. Well, we will continue this on the next one, guys. Hell yeah. We're gonna see what Jess is up to next. <laughs> yeah!